हाई लर्नर आई एम गुरुदेव सिंह राणा असिस्टेंट डायरेक्टर कंप्यूटर आईटी उत्तराखंड ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी हल्द्वानी डिस्ट्रिक्ट नैनीताल सो लर्नर इन दिस लेक्चर यू विल लर्न अबाउट इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ टॉमकैट सर्वर कॉन्फिगर टॉमकैट सर्वर इन नेटवीन आई डी एंड हेयर यू विल गो थ्रो द हैंड्स ऑन इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ सबलेट इन नेटवींस यूजिंग वेब एप्लीकेशन लर्नर इन लास्ट लेक्चर यू लर्न अबाउट जावा सबलेट एंड इट्स इम्प्लीमेंटेशन यू लर्न अबाउट सबलेट वट इज सर्वलेट आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ सर्वलेट हाउ सर्वलेट इज डिफर फ्रॉम सी जी आई सर्वलेट पैकेज एंड लाइफ साइकिल ऑफ सर्वलेट यू ऑल्सो नो अबाउट नेटविंस आई डी एंड हाउ टू इंस्टॉल नेटविन आई डी इन विंडोज लर्नर आफ्टर इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ नेटविंस इन यूर सिस्टम नाउ यू नीड टू इंस्टॉल द टॉम कैट सर्वर इन यूर विंडो मशीन सो फर्स्ट यू नीड टू डाउनलोड द टॉम कैट सर्वर फ्रॉम ऑफिशियल साइट ऑफ टॉम कैट हेयर इज द लिंक टॉम कैट डॉट अपाची डॉट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्लैश डाउनलोड डॉट टेन डॉट सी जी आई सो फ्रॉम यर यू कैन डाउनलोड द लिंक फ्रॉम द इंस्टॉलेशन पैकेज यू नीड टू सिलेक्ट इंस्टॉलर फॉर विंडो सिक्सटी फोर विट नाउ आफ्टर डाउनलोडिंग द इंस्टॉलर नाउ क्लिक ऑन दी ई एक्सी फाइल दिस इज द होम स्क्रीन एंड इट इज रिकमेंडेड दैट यू क्लोज ऑल द अदर एप्लीकेशन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग सेटअप एज यू नो आफ्टर कंप्लीट इंस्टॉलेशन यू नीड टू रिस्टार्ट योर मशीन बट इफ यू विल यू विल क्लोज ऑल अदर एप्लीकेशन इट मेक इट पॉसिबल टू अपडेट ऑल रिलिवेंट सिस्टम फाइल्स विदाउट हैविंग टू रिबूट योर सिस्टम नाउ क्लिक ऑन नेक्स्ट बटन टू कंटिन्यू आफ्टर क्लिक ऑन नेक्स्ट इट विल नेविगेट टू नेक्स्ट लाइसेंस एग्रीमेंट स्क्रीन सो हेयर यू नीड टू रिव्यू द लाइसेंस टर्म्स बिफोर इंस्टॉलिंग अपाची टॉम कैट यू नीड टू स्क्रॉल द पेज डाउन टू सी ऑल द एग्रीमेंट क्लिक ऑन एग्री बटन टू प्रोसीड द इंस्टॉलेशन नाउ You can see the screen where you need to choose the component or feature you want to install in your system. By default, some of them are checked. Here you can see host manager and examples are unchecked. You need to check both of them to install this feature of Tomcat server. After selecting the component or feature click on next button now the next screen in configuration screen this is very important screen to install the tomcat server here you need to set up basic configuration for tomcat in connector port 8080 is basic port number if you are already using this port number you can change the port number here here set port number 8089 for any conflict now you can also see the panel for tomcat administration login this is optional you can enter username and password here i am setting all the configuration now click on next button after click on next it will open new screen java virtual machine screen here you need to select the path for java virtual machine by default the path is c drive program file java/jdk19 you can change the path as per your comfort now click on next button this screen you need to choose the location for installation by default it in install the apache tomcat at c program files location you can change the location by clicking on 
browser location. Now click on installation install button to install the Apache Tomcat server. Now after the completion of installation, blue screen will display. Now click on finish button, it will start Apache Tomcat server also. So learner, next is how to configure Tomcat server in NetWin IDE and how to implement Java servlet in Java web application. So first open NetWin IDE. This is icon for NetWin IDE. Click on this icon. It will take time. Now here we will configure Tomcat server first. For this go to the tools menu, click on servers and now here you can see add server button. Click on add server button. It is taking time. So now you can see here are multiple servers in your screen. So you need to select Apache Tomcat or Tom EE. So click on select this one and click on next button. Now here you can see here is server location and you need to specify Tomcat server locations. Click on browse button and go to the location where you have installed Apache Tomcat server. So location is C drive, program files and Apache software foundation and Tomcat 10.1. Click on open. Now you can see here is some error on the screen. The specified server location Catalina home folder is not valid. So learner, you need to resolve this error first. So how to resolve this error? So go to the server location. Uh, server location is program files, Apache Software Foundation, Tomcat 10.1. Now right click on this folder. Click on properties. Then go to the security tab and go to the advanced. Under permission tab, click on continue button. Now you can see here there is no users. So here click on add button and select click on select a principal. Enter here everyone. Click on check names to check the name if it is valid or not. So it is valid. Click on OK button and check all the check boxes here. Full control, modify, read and execute, list full content and click on OK button then on apply and then on continue. So now you can see we can access these folders. Now close this one and open ID as administrator. Click on yes. Tools, servers. Head server, Apache Tomcat, next. Now browse the location again and go to the C drive, program files, Apache Software Foundation, Tomcat and click on open button. Now you can see there is no error 
on the screen and now you need to specify the username here so i am entering username admin and password and now click on finish button before click on finish button you can see on the screen there is a checkbox if you click on the checkbox this will create new you new user if it does not exist so click on finish button now here you can see server port currently it is 8089 you can change this one if this server port is already in use so now click on close now your tomcat server is configured for netbin ide so after the configuration of tomcat server in netbin ide now next is to implement the java sublet in java web application to create new web application go to the file menu click on new project and select java web and select web application now click on next button now set the project name here here are three things one is project name project location and project folder project folder is combination of project location and project name so i am changing the name of project here now it is demo project now you can see project folder is now changed and project location is the location where you are saving your project you can change this location currently it is c drive slash java work so now click on next button here is server and setting page by default apache tomcat or tom e selected here and java e version is jakarta e 10 web and context path is demo project now click on next now here you can see these are the frameworks you can use in your project currently i am not selecting any frameworks and i am going to click on finish button now it is creating the project now here i am going to add servlet page now to add servlet go to the source package and click on new button then select servlet and change the name of new servlet to demo servlet <clears throat> so click on next button you can see here is one check check box if i check this box it will add information to the web xml file automatically if i will not check this check box then we need to add servlet information manually so i am going to click on this check box so now it is checked now go to the finish button click on finish button so now you can see there are some errors in this file learner in this sublet file here you can see multiple errors because there is no java x package so we need to replace java x with jakarta so i am changing java x to the jakarta now you can see there is 
no error so before proceeding to uh, noise to resolve there is no error in the sublet page before going ahead here we will discuss about the folder structure now this is the folder structure here you can see the folder structure first one is web page directory this directory contains meta inf and web inf directory and html file meta inf directory contains meta information browser cannot access these files but your web app can access them internally by your code now under web inf directory there are two crucial directory classes and lib and one important file web.xml in this project classes and lib directory are not there but web.xml exist so here i will explain the web.xml file the web.xml file includes web application information that is used by the java web server or servlet container to properly deploy and execute the web application for example the web.xml file specifies which servlet should be deployed and to which url they should be mapped next folder is source package under source package we create java files this contain all the java files or source code of the project it define all source file of java servlet now next one is configuration folder now under configuration file there are some important files like context.xml web.xml these are configurable file we can change this file as per our comforts now we back to the servlet now open the servlet file this is the servlet file so learner here you can see there are some inbuilt method in servlet process request and you can see also do get method and do post method internally do get method do post method calls the process request method process request method takes servlet request and servlet response as parameter here response object create html and send response back to the browser browser display the html now in process request method i'm i am going to change the message here well come to my servlet now build the project so finish building is finish now i want to run this server servlet file individually so to run this file right click on the file and click on run file click on okay button now you can see the servlet is running in the browser now the next is how to call servlet from html file or front end so here i will call servlet file from html in project file there is a file index.html open the index.html file now here i am going to change the title my first servlet
to call sublet we need to add form tag inside form tag there is property action property action so action is to specify where the form data is to be sent to the server after the submission of form so from here we are calling the sublet put the sublet path here so sublet path will be project name demo project and slash sublet name demo sublet demo project slash demo sublet now method method is equal to get so learner i am sure you know about get and post method here we are just calling the sublet to get the data from sublet so we use get method here now build the project clean and build and now run the project you can run the project by right click over the project name and click on run button and you can also run the project from this icon so learner here here you can see now this sublet will run in the browser so now it is running on the browser and it is displaying the message welcome to my sublet now application is running in the browser so learner i hope this session will be very helpful to you and now you can configure tomcat server in netbeans ide you can also create web project from this session you got confidence to implement servlet and how to call servlet from html page or front end learner in next lecture you will continue to learn java servlet implementation in details and you will also learn all the method of java servlet in details thank you